What is going on guys, it is me Lucas 321 here today and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to download digital games a lot faster. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So we all know that getting games on the Xbox One store, aka a digital game, is one of the worst ideas you could come up with because by the time the effing game has installed, you are bloody dead. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can download these digital games a lot faster than you were before and yeah so um let's just get into this so first of all guys i'm going to be using call of duty black ops 3 as an example it's not actually a full game i'm downloading here it's just an update which is quite big it's 2.79 gig although the games you're going to be downloading from the xbox one store are going to range from like 30 to even 100 gigabytes so they're going to take an effing long time regardless of what you do but still, this video will make that time a little bit shorter so you can play your game a little bit sooner than you could before. So guys, this is how we do it. As you can see, my internet speed isn't so great. It's about, it ranges from about 9 megabytes a second, which is pretty darn crap. To be fair though, it does depend on whether, you know, other people are using the internet in the house or whether I'm using the internet myself on like YouTube and stuff. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. I'm sure you already know that anyway. So if you want to download your games faster, just make sure that you have all your other devices which use Wi-Fi turned off so it does download a little bit quicker. But here are some more tips that you guys can use. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, your settings. So we're going to go to settings right here. All settings. And once this finally loads, we are going to go to network. Network settings. Now if we go down to where it says bandwidth usage, what we're going to do is click this. And we can just get a little bit of insight on how much usage we're currently using. Which this might help you guys out a little bit. And it's just something that not everyone knows. So the next thing to do is go back to your network settings and go to where it says advanced settings. And once we click this, what we're going to do is go to DNS settings. And then we're going to go to where it says manual. Because originally you were probably set on automatic. But now we're going to click manual. And we are going to type in the numbers 8, 8, 8. Eight. and you just want to use RB to go into the different boxes we don't want multiple numbers in uh, one box and then we're going to press start which will take us to our secondary DNS and we're going to type in 88 eight, and then we're going to go to 44 four. once we've typed that in guys we're going to press start again and now we are going to well there's nothing else we really need to do it's just going to change your DNS settings so it's gone from automatic to manual and once we've done this guys, it's going to check your connection real quick. And from this point, I would recommend restarting your Xbox. So I'm going to do that right now. So once that's done guys, what we're going to do is go back to our games and apps. And you're going to see that, you know, your megabytes probably won't change much right now. These stats we see on the Xbox One store aren't 100% like uh, accurate. If you go to your settings and go back to network settings again and you go to your bandwidth usage, you will see different stats. So these aren't necessarily 100% accurate. So I've just signed out of my profile and um, that is another way of increasing the speed because this way the Xbox doesn't need to, you know, see how many friends you've got online. All of this kind of stuff is really playing on the internet. So signing out really does eliminate any of that. So the internet should be a lot better and we can hopefully download the game a little bit faster. Now the last thing we can do guys is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to all settings and we're going to go down to where it says power and startup. Now once we get to power and startup we're going to go to power mode and startup again. We're going to click that and we're going to go down to here and we're going to select instant on. If it was on instant on already, you need to click this and uh, once you've clicked it, make sure you have unticked this box right here which says when Xbox is off, turn off storage. We don't want the storage to be turned off when the Xbox is turned off, otherwise the game won't effing install. So make sure you have that unticked. And once we've done that guys, we can safely turn our Xbox off and the game will continue to download and this will increase the speed of the download a little bit more as well. So 
If you guys didn't know that already, now you do. So I'm going to turn mine back onto energy saving because I am currently not downloading a full massive game. It's only just an update, but it's still taking a long time as you can see. I started the video at like 48% and it's only on 54%. Yeah, this video isn't that long, but still, it's taken a while. So, guys, I would recommend buying your games with a disc if you know if you can, because when you download games on the digital Xbox One store, as you guys know, it takes too long. Also, they take up a lot of storage, which sucks. And luckily, I have got you know a fair bit of storage at the moment. Uh, I got a new hard drive the other day, so it's all right now. I do, I do actually, uh, I do have a fair bit of storage. But these games are really big in storage, so that's something to keep in mind, guys, as well. I'm sure you guys know that already. And yeah, I do hope this helped you out a little bit. I noticed that a lot of you guys did like my previous video on how to download games faster. So today, I thought I would show you how to do it with digital games. It's just a little bit different. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If this video helped you out at all, make sure to hit that like button. That would help me out so much. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new so you don't miss out on videos just like this. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have any problems with this at all and I will help you out as always. And yeah, guys, that is about it for this video and I will see you next time. Time for a little crappy little time lapse now where we download the game and it's all, all happy stories and stuff. But to be honest with you guys, none of these tips really work. The video is bullshit. I'm joking. These, these tips do work, guys. Trust me, they do. But my internet's just, you know, it's so good and the game will just download so fast. It's, it's unreal. Oh, please download, will you? Please download the game. Thank you guys for watching. Just click the annotation on screen now to check out my previous video. And don't be a donkey. Slap that subscribe button silly. And I'll see you in my next video.